Amen. All right, men, a couple things you have to keep in mind. We talked about this from day one. We don't focus on how we feel. We focus on what we have to get done. If for no other reason than the name on the back of your jersey and the shield on your chest, do you just sacrifice what you feel and do it for the team? Okay? This game, without a doubt, is going to be a physical game. But we're trained and we're prepared. There's nothing that they can say. They were talking a little bit in the pregame, right? There's nothing that they can say that's going to save them from this pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We mm-hmm. pain. Mm-hmm. From day one, we talked about pain being a privilege, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Now we get the opportunity to go out one minute for the duration of the game. All right. Make sure that they fill us. All right. If we win each play, focus on winning each play. Win. The scoreboard is going to take care of itself. Yes, sir. That's got to be our mentality. No matter what happens, reset, win the next play. 65 games within the game. Win each one, and it's a great feeling, all right, to say that we imposed our will on another team, on another man, and ultimately we won the game. That's what we do. We're going to start fast and finish what? Fast. SU fame. Jones to throw, end zone, got a man, wide open, caught, touchdown! Welcome back, DeAndre Tompkins! And the penalty has him backed up to their own 20-yard line, and Jones comes out to throw. Sets his feet and fires, and zips it in, has got a man across the middle, it is Eli Rogers. Out to the 45-yard line, Tom Luganville. Yes, guys, very sad news as it relates to Eli Rogers. Lost his mother this week, she passed away Latin part of this week. Her funeral is actually taking place right now, guys, and he chose to stay with this football team. He's going to head home at the conclusion of this game to be with his family. But again, just get it away. McGloin, lots of traffic, gets it off to his back. Victor, making some people miss, lowers the shoulder. And the ball comes out, and D.C. has it. And the defenders are walking down the field with Raheem Moore. You see what Justin Vogel is looking at, special teams player of the week, and it's a fake. It's Williams, Marquise Williams, the backup quarterback who took off and ran it for the easy first down for 16 yards. You got to get on your horse now, Rashad. Okay. Might be able to work Kari Lee on the seam. Here's Jones, got a man wide open, bit under thrown, and still able to make the catch is Rashad Rocket Ross. Prior to the opener, had a lower body injury, came to camp banged up. McLoyne had all sorts of time, there's the deep shot, and it's picked off. Intercepted. Matt Elam is there, the former. Third and 21. Take the six off the board, here's Cardell. Oh, shit. Throwing a 50-50 ball, and it's intercepted. It is DeWan Hines on the interception. There's a... Bit of a low snap again. McGloin intercepted. He's picked off down the sideline. Jameer Thurman to the house. Touchdown. Pick six for the D.C. defenders off the screen. I mean, St. Louis looked really good last week against Dallas. Pumphrey gives it back to Cardell Jones. It's caught. DeAndre Tompkins. Little trickeration by D.C. that was so effective a week ago. Well, no, it's, it's obviously I know what I want. The conversation on that New York sideline continues as Cardell Jones was taken down, fumbled the football, was never touched, get up and throw to DeAndre Tompkins. And now he's taken down. That's clean living there by Cardell Jones and the D.C. defenders. Now, everybody out there today playing our best game, all right? Fighting for it, earning it every damn day. 
Everyone understand? Yes, I come together as a team, play for one another, enjoy yourself, compete with the other team. I right? fight all damn day now. Let's be at our best today. Let's oh, go. Oh, yeah. to go. Just a three-man rush. Johnson over the middle. Caught for a first down. Nelson Spruce, a pick of a 13. And an outstanding throw by Johnson over the linebacker in front of the safety. This is the difference in this offense now. This ball is coming out, and it has some zip on it. The linebacker's in place. You can't play it much better than that. They'll drop Trey Williams. Landry Jones lets it go. Intercepted! Harlan Miller with the pickoff. And it gets tripped up at midfield by Flynn Nagel. 32-yard return for Harlan Miller out of southeastern Louisiana. You heard Winston Moss call a Tampa 2. That's cover 2 where both corners stay up in zone. This was a team that played a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. We've seen in this game that it's the second time that they fooled Landry Jones with their coverage. He's expecting man-to-man -man coverage. Corner drops out. This should have been their second interception. They finally make this play, and this is a defense now that wants to be more aggressive, and they're playing with a lot more confidence. And now in the XFL, Landry Jones is trying to get right. He's going to unload deep down the sideline. Caught! First down, Dallas! First catch of the game for Joshua Crockett. And Dallas gets out of the shadows of the end zone with a 39-yard completion. With Melvin Gordon and Todd Gurley, uh, why are you guys here? Man, see some football. I love football. I love being around it. Got some guys on the team on both sides of the field. On both sides of the field. We come, want to just come and support them. I'm going to let you guys play hype man. Who are you hyping up right now? Who are you looking at on the field? Of course, um, the one and only Nelson Spruce. And um, Lance Dunbar, you know, two of my great friends. They both play with the Rams, so here to support those guys. What did those guys do well? <sighs> yeah, you know, besides being great friends, you know, they're pretty good players. Um, Spruce, you know, he was the first receiver in the XFL to have 100 yards. Got to get my boy Lance rolling, but, you know, he probably going to lead the lead in touchdowns after Spruce. Look at you. You know the XFL stats after week one already. What do you think of the XFL? I think it's dope. I think it's a great opportunity for guys to come out here and showcase their talents, you know, get another shot at the league, you know, give them something to look at. So it's exciting. Um, I like it. I've been watching it. A couple of friends of mine have been watching it. We here watching it now. And I think it's going to grow. I know players don't like a microphone in their face at all times, but what do you think of the access as a viewer at home? I wouldn't like it. I would like it if I'm playing well, but if I'm not, it's like get the camera out my Watch out real quick. You know. um, no, it's fun. It's a great environment. Um, you know, I like, I think it's going to be a good thing, especially here in L.A. So, you know, we just here enjoying and watching our friends. All right. Thank you, guys. Tom, we have some XFL fans here on the sidelines. Yeah. To go. Plenty of time. End zone. Caught. Touchdown. Nelson Spruce. That's Gurley's guy. And it's a six-yard score. Artis Payne, patient, bends it outside, gets a block at the 10, touchdown, Dallas, Cameron Artis Payne. Lance Dunbar through the key block, and it's a 21-yard score. Landry Jones looking for Parham, he's got it, and he's got a touchdown. Dallas has found momentum, and now they've got a 10-point lead with a point after coming. Go. Dallas drops seven. Johnson going deep. Caught. Touchdown. Nelson Spruce is second. One point game. I don't see the value going for three here. You could go for 12 two in the defensive formation. Half the distance to the goal will attempt to try. Johnson, pressure, steps up, end zone, cut! First three-point conversion in the XFL, and we've got a one-point game late. Did we just make history? We've been it's making history the last go. weeks. Adonis Jennings with the catch. They get it off, perfectly timed. Cameron Artis Payne to the left side, to the 10-5.
touchdown, Dallas! Second touchdown of the game for the Auburn running back.